Welcome back to another video. I know, look at us go. <laughs> So in the last video, we've just picked up this van and we said we're heading off to see some friends and that's where we're going. Yeah, they've got no idea we're coming. It's a complete surprise, isn't it? Yeah, and um, we've actually got a cottage with a hot tub because the site itself doesn't allow kids. It's an adults only site, but yeah. there's a cottage to the side that they also rent out, which does allow kids. So that's where we're going. <laughs> yeah, we're it? literally just gonna turn up and be like, surprise. surprise! <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, it's been a while. It's been, they're really good friends of ours. It's been a good few years since we've seen each other, isn't it? It. Yeah. So we yeah. thought while we were in the area, we would make the effort. Well, that's it. We're in. just north of them, and they're kind of in the direction we are for where we're heading. So yeah. it's like, let's do a night there. Absolutely. So we'll give you a little clue, shall we? Go on then. What's the clue? Because I'd like to know what the clue is. One of them likes to drink John Smiths. Right. On that note, let's hit the road. Yeah. Coming up to the Humber Bridge. I'm not sure if we've been over this before. We have once before. Stu's just told me now. I've got to pay a toll for it, which means I have to use this window. Now, the whole point of us having a left hand drive was so I didn't have to do the payages anymore. <laughs> yeah, in Europe. <laughs> this is one of the few bridges you've still got to pay to go over in UK. It does look pretty big, actually. The last time I saw a bridge that big, I was thinking probably Seven Bridge. That's the sort of size it is, isn't it? I literally can't believe the road layout to get to this Humber Bridge that we've done so many loop de loops. Um, it feels a little bit like you're passing it to get back to it, if that makes sense. If I pay the toll first, Dan? It looks that way, yeah. Better figure out how to open this window. Card payments only. Oh my gosh, we're bigger now as well. How much do you reckon we're going to get charged? You're all right. I might have to hang out the window to yeah. do this. Perfect, thank Are you. you. Oh, that's not too bad, love. No, it's, it is cheap to go over there, but. Yeah, but no, I don't mean that. They put us down as a class two. Well, yeah, it's still a motorhome. I thought we, because we were bigger, that we'd probably fall into the third class. I think but, in Europe we probably will, to be fair. Yeah. Oh, cool. Let's go over a bridge. Are you feeling more comfortable now? Getting it. It's still very nervy. I'm not gonna lie, the C1 doesn't prepare you for this sort of vehicle. If I didn't have my experience from driving the previous motorhome, I just don't feel as, you know, someone who's never driven something like this goes into a C1 and can come and then drive something like this. It's too big for it. It's just not trained enough. Yeah. So I actually booked my C1 medical because the C1 has a process where you've got to go through medical first, have that, then you get your provisional, then you go off and do your theory and you have well, a no, let's, talk, let's talk about that properly. So, okay. first thing you've got to do is you've actually got to go into a medical and they're just taking like blood pressure, heartbeat, and a visual aid. Once you've got that certificate, you then send that off and you apply for the provisional. And then when you've got that, you can take your theory test and your hazard perception test. And then only once you've passed that, can you then go and do your training, which is normally 16 hours, um, and then you do your test, which, no, after the training, sorry, you then got to do a maneuvers test, which is basically reversing into a bay, and then you've got to go do your test. And to be fair, the test was just like doing a car test, only I was in a sprinter, and that was it. We've just made it to a fuel station in the nick of time and um, we still haven't come across a supermarket or anything like that yet. I think Stu's still a little bit nervous on tight corners and stuff so we've come to this petrol station. It looks pretty good um, but yeah to watch him fuel up in this van is going to be a little bit different to the last one but I'm curious to see how big the tank's going to be. We usually pay around 110, 120 quid I think to fill it up so yeah it'd be interesting to see how much this is going to cost obviously you've got your ad blue and everything to add on as well so i think we're okay for that at the minute and the best we've come across is literally a spar express so i'm hoping we're going to find something a little bit better because we've got the leather we've got the leather seated areas that we want to try and protect a bit uh maybe 
could get one of those like kitchen seat pads for you and maybe tie it around the back or something i don't think i'm going to get away with the fluffy seat covers that i've had before just because the shape of the chair is a little bit different than what the other ones are but anyway that's an that's a conversation for another time he's frowning so he did say he's actually quite tired from the journey which i can imagine because the concentration levels he's needed to uh make it round some of the tight bends and stuff has been incredible to be fair to him he's done really really well okay so he stopped at about 60 quid so i've got a feeling there's a problem with the pump because there's no way he would have just stopped there find out what's going on now i've just had to go in the back and sort the kids out because they're arguing over charges um but they're definitely more comfortable in here than they have been in the last one and you can see they're sitting much better in those seat belts so happy with that oh you got yourself a little stash then babe yeah well i didn't think we would see dax i didn't think we would find a supermarket in this neck of the woods it's uh a bit rural why have we only put 60 quid in because it kept clicking so i think the, the tank like the tank was full on 60 quid no it's only our fault yeah i was gonna say it didn't seem a lot of money um, it didn't just, seem a lot i don't know if it was coming out of the pump too fast or i've got to get used to a different angle on this fuel filler i don't know and you, did i just buy some new chargers for the kiddies there's one charger for dexter because they've gone from having type c outputs to type a outputs and we only had two type a's so one of them's been going without hence the argument i've just been telling you about let's see what he's got oh there's lots of goodies in there is there yeah lemon bakes oh smarties mini eggs who knew they did those yeah for the kids what you didn't get me any no they're for the kids okay oh nice small sausage rolls they're nice and hot some bats some sausages Pasties. Yeah, sorry, I'm gonna leave you here for a minute. I'm gonna get stuck into some of this. Yeah. So we're just making our arrival now and um, Stu's got some pretty slim lanes to get through. But the end is in sight, love. Yes. <laughs> so now we've got to get on site without getting busted. That'll be all right, won't it? It's quite, a, you're all right. It's a big enough entrance. Yeah. Neil's you. <laughs> He'll sort us out. I got a feeling it's that cottage we've just passed actually, yeah. just now. Right. Good morning. Nice so to meet you. You just, you just missed a drama. Who can't keep a secret? Ah. <laughs> Who can't keep a secret? I need a confession. <laughs> Who can't keep a secret? That would be me. Yes. I was told. I was told to keep a secret. Can I do? Can I do? And I've done a bit of jiggling and wiggling and all the rest of it for you. And she spelt the beans. And then, and then the other day, I think was it yesterday before I went to dance. I've got a secret, and I'm not going to tell you. And he goes, "Is it?" I said, "How do you know?" Know? have told me she can't keep a secret. Ah! <laughs> <laughs> we've literally we've just had every bit of power on the campsite it's gone now i've just been busted because i did in fairness well and truly busted i did in fairness say it was supposed to be a surprise to our friend mazzy who clearly can't keep a secret either yeah <laughs> so neil's been amazing obviously this is an adult only site so the children aren't allowed on here so neil's put us up in a cottage with a hot tub and yeah we get to stay in there so these guys will have to come and see us technically tonight um but we're allowed to put the van on pitch aren't we yeah the van's going on pitch one uh yeah. so it's just parked and out of the way so obviously yeah. it's a big burfa uh but we get to stay in a cottage tonight with a hot tub yeah so, so i'm, I'm looking quite forward excited to that. about that yeah but we have got some surprises for neil as well later to say thank yes. you so yeah top man <laughs> He's checking out the size of the van. He's like, oh no. And this grass is really soft. So your habitation door's on this side, isn't it? Yeah. So you can drive in on this this one here. So you can drive you can drive over that Astro turf. Yeah. Do you want to weigh up outside before you go on or are you just gonna go for it? Do you wanna come and have a quick look? No, I think I'm alright. Go for it. Right. Go I'm, for I'm it. I'm getting there. I've had two hours driving down. We only picked this up yesterday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So we heard he likes pork pies and Carlsberg, so we're gonna go give it to him now. 
to show our appreciation. We heard you like, <laughs> we heard you like pork pies, and we got some caramelised <laughs> onion and some melted food. Right? We couldn't find a massive pork pie, could no. we? And uh, you also uh, like a cow. I, I do like a beer, and uh, I, I am partial to a pork pie. There you go. <laughs> See, if I hadn't a grassed and fast, I wouldn't a know. Pork pie is not worth living. <laughs> uh, yeah. Well, enjoy those, yeah, and thanks for. Thanks for putting us up. So to be fair to him, bless his heart, he has sorted out the cottage for us. We're going to get the kids out of the van and head on over to the cottage because obviously we're not supposed to be on this part. Just going to head over to the cottage. I want to have a quick little look at what to expect before I start taking our bits over there. Um, but yeah, she looks good over there. She looks like she fits, quite in, fits in quite nicely. That's not a cottage, that's huge. Wow, look at that. That's like an old farmhouse. Cool. It's got it's got its own little gate. A big hot Is it really? Yeah. Oh wow. I just but we got to, we only got a key to get in the front, so we have got to go back round. I just wanted to show you. Wow. That. But look at the size on that garden. Massive, isn't it? Oh, it's nice Take your shoes off. Oh, straight away they're gone. Slept in bedrooms, I expect. Wow. Wow, this is lovely. Look at the size on this. It's a beautiful. Huge, isn't it? It's beautiful. Yeah. Put some drinks on here. Yeah. <laughs> Somewhere to sit later. Yeah, there's a wet room and like a utility room in there yeah lush nice. completely wasn't expecting this what's this oh it's right. okay so this is two singles oh i'm not happy so what's this one nice oh, there's a living room in here really yeah, massive it's it's oh wow this is nice oh yeah it's got a log fire in there it's got a heater in there it's got a heater in there oh this is beautiful look they've got a log fire they got heat and fall it does feel lovely and warm in here to be fair they've oh it's beautiful you got your wood for your burner what there. What is this? Should we have a look upstairs? Yeah, go on then. Take the shoes off. All well trained with the shoes, I've got to say. Oh, it's heated floor. Yeah, this mm -hmm. That'll probably be needed. Okay, let's have a look. All right, okay, so yeah, you got the soup over here. It's got a balcony. Wow, look at that, there's a balcony. There's a big jet bath in there. Look at this. We've got to pull Let the blinds. Help you out. Lush. And then you can go out a little bit of al fresco dining. <laughs> oh, look at this. This is cool. So you can literally look over the whole campsite and keep an eye on your stuff. But wow, this is lovely. This isn't what I expected at all, Neil. It is absolutely beautiful. I know. It? In there, there's a nice big jacuzzi bath. Oh my God. Now that is what I miss from our old house. I used to have a jacuzzi bath, albeit an old one, but we still used to do the bubbles and it was brilliant. Another double bed with some guest towels and you've got some beautiful views then out of the country just there, look. How lovely is that? Do you know what? This sort of house would be literally something of dreams for people, wouldn't it? Hey, man. Right, so now the kids have had a quick go in the hot tub, which by the way was absolutely boiling. <laughs> we're gonna very hot. We're gonna go and hunt down Mazzy and Dad. It's a nice little site with some building work going on, but they're just adding some statics and some pods, we've been told. It's lovely in there. Yeah, very, very quiet and peaceful. That's why they won't let us on you. So here they are. There's one! <laughs> we thought we might even make it to the door before you got before you spotted us, but no. Who <laughs> are you? Sorry. <laughs> you booked in. You're on uh, you're trespassing. At the I am, but we came bearing gifts, so we didn't think you'd mind. Oh that's very kind of you, thank you very much. Well let's see what percent it is. <laughs> is, is, it the, is it the lower one or the higher one? Oh no, oh, sorry. Oh. To be fair, fair, I would have got him a 20% one if I could find it but i just thought they did the one we're grateful thank you. thanks guys thank you so Thanks nice to see you, you. Yeah, see, see you later. so i'm really really excited because we're just about to have our first official visitors to the van and they're really really good friends of ours and i just can't wait to show them this now you might remember they stayed at our house so for them to see this now as well is just really really cool they've also given us a hand delivered card which i just think is ace i'm not going to show you though because it's a little bit personal and i'm a little bit sentimental and i'm going to pop it in the van forever in one of those drawers you know the ones that people just chuck loads of rubbish on <laughs> be one of them come on guys welcome 
<laughs> Are we open? Let's have a look. Can I take your shoes off? Yeah, take your shoes off. Yeah, take your shoes off. Ooh. <laughs> I'm loving the sound effects. <laughs> Quick, it's raining. Oh, wow. Oh, you can smell the leather. <laughs> Just sit your bum on it and then I promise I'll turn the camera off. Why have to get to the front? What do you think? <laughs> creating a pinch point right for there. Wow. I think they like it. Yeah, they like it. <laughs> Morning guys, so yesterday after showing off the van to Dan and Maz, we ended up coming back to the cottage, had a bit of a takeaway, chat, catch up, that kind of thing. It was really, really lovely. This morning we've had a bit of a tidy around the place. It's, we're about an hour off now before we need to leave here. Uh, so I'm just getting the kiddies some breakfast, doing stew, some bacon, and then I think we're gonna hit the road. So they're both chilling over there, looking a little bit, not sure what to do with themselves. <laughs> that kind of happens though, I think. When you've um, stayed somewhere and you've tidied up, you almost feel like you can't really do anything then until you've got to, got to leave. I've been over to the van, I've got their breakfast, so I'm gonna get that sorted. And uh, yeah, I think that'll be it. I've already pre-buttered the bread. I went over to the van and I'd rather than bring everything over, I was like, just get it as ready as I could, so. That's that. Got my bacon, my frying pan. It's an induction hob as well, so I'm not sure if these are even gonna work. Yes, it's actually working, thank God for that. And now I remember to fetch the milk over. I'm gonna make him a cup of tea as well, actually. So we've had a fantastic night at the nurseries. If you haven't been here before, highly recommend the cottage with the hot tub. Yeah, and I've, I've even done a TikTok on it, so go over and have a look if you want. Yeah, <laughs> and even better, because we got to see some old friends. I'm not old. <laughs> Did you know, this is unbelievable, look at us. <laughs> right. I'm a lot older than him, turns out. <laughs> nearly, a lot older. Nearly 10 years. Yeah. That's unbelievable. He thinks I it? look older because, alright, I'm a bit bald up top. I look so much younger than you. I'm yeah, sorry. but I, I've got the looks. You're delusional, you are. Look <laughs> <laughs> at the suitcases all under right, there. All right, all right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, thank you so much for coming. We've had a yeah. lovely time. Brilliant time. Thank you. But if you've got kids, you're not welcome on this site, so don't try it on like we did. Got to try your luck, haven't you? But the cottage, we highly recommend. Yeah, absolutely beautiful. And Neil the Warden as well has been really, really lovely with us as well. Oh, he? very accommodating. Oh, don't, don't say he's nice. <laughs> <laughs> so we're actually heading up to the Harrogate show yeah. today. We've got a few bits we need to pick up and everything we need is up there. It's a two and a half hour drive north. How are you going to feel about that, Lev? It's all lanes around you, so I'm not looking forward to it. But Practice makes perfect, doesn't it's, they say? Yeah, what's the point of me practicing on a motorway? It's those roads is where I'm going to learn that fan, isn't it? So Absolutely. So come on then, let's go. Right, catch you in a bit. So a two and a half hour drive later, we've made it to Harrogate's show. We've never been here before, so we figured we'd just come down, have a look around and see if there's anything we can pick up for the new motorhome. We do need tables and chairs set. We've never ever had a table and chair set in any of our vans because we've just never simply had the space. So I'm looking forward to that, having a good little look around. It's not the biggest, to be honest. As far as events go, it doesn't look like there's that many here. So it might just be a case of a quick look around, pick up what we need and go. I think the plan is that we're gonna do a few hours today. Depending on the size, we may well come back tomorrow. But failing that, we're just gonna go and hit a campsite tonight. We do need to relax, we're absolutely shattered. Jude's just getting his bits ready and then we're gonna go and have a look. Look at that, straight away, Euromobile. We're gonna see them everywhere now. Yeah. <laughs> Stu's just had me looking in the hex. Apparently that's a new model. Personally, I don't think we need another awning. We've had about a million and we never use them. So I like this one, it's 70 for a set of four, which is quite a lot. Well, there's this one for 35, so it's pretty much half price. So I'll probably end up with this because I like a bargain. And I do like this lantern. That's really cool for an awning or something. And maybe some wine glasses because I've got a habit of breaking those. Stew straight to the food again. So they've got pies, essential stuff. I think it's trying to get around all these stalls before the rain starts. I love this is where we could have got one for Neil. Yeah. That's ridiculous. That is banging, in it? There's your motorhome essentials, love. We can get all your bits and bobs. Um, we normally get our fluffy seat covers from there, but somehow I don't think they're going to have the style that we want this time. No, no. Our seat belt is now part of the seat. Oh, okay. So here's Stu at Blue Fix talking about the electrical system on his new motorhome already. It can be all fridge, all freezer, or freezer, fridge, freezer, fridge. And will that work on the 12 volt cigarette lighter? Oh. Between 30 to 35 watts of power, so it's very little power drain. 
Two That's what we want in it for the garage. He's found a TV stall already. So we need two TVs in this van and hoping he can get maybe just one would be good, but we'll see. Stu's also found the leveling system that he's on about for the van too. So it looks like he's booking things in. We do have to come back anyway, because the gas flow system or the gas flow system that we had fitted onto the van when we picked it up, they ended up changing it uh, from 11 kilograms. There was two bottles and then one went down to a six. So we've got to then go back to get that changed over. So he might well end up booking that in at the same time. We'll see how we get on. So we're here with Alan. He's at Camping Outlet. Now you may have recognised him from the store Dometic. That was right, wasn't it? Many moons ago. Many moons ago. So here he is at the show. Come and see him. He's got loads and loads here on offer at his stall. So how are you feeling now, love? Now we pretty much bankrupted you. But we've got the things we came here to get, so... It's done. Happy with that. Yeah. Well, leaves us guys, Oliver, to walk back with the rest of the stuff. I mean, I'm honoured. It's a liberty, though, isn't it? That they've gone and taken a free ride down there and we're stuck walking back, don't you think? Yeah. Unbelievable. Bye! <laughs>